I know what you're wondering. What's in the canister? I could tell you. But then I'd have to kill you. <laughs> I'm only mucking about. Relax. As for what's in the canister, it's best you don't ask. This is the impossible consistency of smoke. If there's one operator that I'm willing to bet my life on, choose life and death, and use for the rest of my life, this defender has managed to survive seven years of Rainbow Six Siege without being picked less or nerfed. He's, in my opinion, one of the best defenders in Rainbow Six Siege. And you might be wondering, what's inside the canister? What's in the canister? It's best you don't ask. <laughs> Let me explain. We see operators take turns in the spotlight with their new abilities and a hype and new scopes. Look at Alibi, one of the most highest picked operators on defense, completely shattered the charts along with Finca LMG. Honestly, the LMG meta, the pick rates were honestly for the Siege history books. But what about certain downfalls? Recoil changes, nerfs, and pick rates that just hit the floor on operators. I guess you could really say operators fell off, but... We're not going to use any Gen Z terms in the video. Let's look at a downfall of Ash, for example. She was a three speed, three flashbangs, and three explosives. Some might even say that she lasted three seconds. Okay, well, listen, listen, not that way, but people be rushed in sight and be dying in the first three seconds. I, I swear, every time on my ranked teams. But when the smoke clears after all the buffs and the nerfs, only one person remained. Well, when the smoke clears, I mean, it's just smoke is, is there himself. So I guess the smoke didn't really clear, right? I'm sorry you guys have to watch this video. <laughs> the point is, he's been in every single meta and he hasn't struggled a bit. You name it, the 30 second utility meta. You guys remember when Jaeger almost took nine flashbangs to clear if, if all three of them had three each for ADS? And what about three Goyle shields or the LMG meta? Now we're in a frag heavy meta where like utility doesn't matter too much, but smoke is still there because you can never avoid choking on the smoke. People might be having the 150, but they'd be, <laughs> you know, they're not surviving that. So what makes smoke's consistency impossible through the ups and downs? Now let's scan it from head to toe. Starting out with this loadout, we have primary weapons like the FMG SMG with the 1.5 scope. Obviously, having a 1.5 scope on a low recoil gun, we already know how that ends up. Kind of like Alibi and Finca. I mean, 1.5 scopes are probably... If I describe the meta, actually, it's not a frag meta. It's a 1.5 meta right now. Or for another primary, the most popular choice that I love and have black eyes on. Sorry, broke boys. It's the pump shotgun. This thing is a sniper if you really believe in it or at least that's how it works, right? You have to believe in the shotgun or else it doesn't work and it shoots marshmallows. It's considered one of the best shotguns in the game when it comes to destruction and kills. Now, let's not overlook his unique feature, which really separates him from the other defenders. No, it's not what's inside the canister. We'll get that to the end of the video. His secondary is used just as much as his primary, the SMG-11. Even the SMG-11 has been through nerfs and buffs of the recoil, but us veteran smoke players we be controlling that thing like it's nothing. I mean, compared to other defenders, the only time you're pulling out your pistol on anyone else is because you just potatoed your gunfight and y'all are just like hip firing each other at that point. And if you're potatoing in a gunfight, the time to kill in this game is insanely short, just like my friends King George and Garfield. But that is not it. In today's meta and many previous years, having a deployable shield is insanely strong on any defender. Like Warden and Alibi, the reason I feel like they're picked more than Doc is because, well, one, they're a little bit faster. Two, is because they have deployable shields that actually help for the team. I mean, even with Doc getting his bailiff, like a buff of that, it's like having a shield pocket utility is way more helpful for the team. And the lastly, the elephant in the room is his smoke canister ability. From year one all the way to year seven, it still affects the players today if used correctly in deadly hands like mine and Pox. Shout out to my boy Pox, you know, best smoke main content creators, me and him, you know, with a duo. Once that smoke goes off, nobody in their right mind is sprinting through that thing. They're waiting 10 seconds, twiddling their thumbs, and by the time you know it, they've lost the round because they're baiting on the roof every time. Stop doing that. The area denial is crazy, and even if used correctly, you can really throw the timing off the entire enemy execute one of my favorite features of smoke is that he's a combo character if you guys don't know but back when i was younger i loved games like mortal kombat overwatch and skylanders what do they all have in common though a dynamic kit of abilities that you can whip out like a deck of cards if i was ever reloading on one ability i would have the next one and the next one and the next one it would just be like a continued punch like flurry of 
kills. The clutch potential with smoke was through the roof with a shotgun that can end fights in seconds. The SMG 11 for mid range and while denying an angle with the smoke canisters. All right, let me explain this 1v3 I had with smoke and I got most of my kills with the SMG 11. Now, this right here, I was, you know, you see that burst fire. And look at how much I'm taking gunfights. I'm taking gunfights, but they're very minimal with my movement. And I'm reloading every time. See how I'm, you know, utilizing the environment I made with the smoke setup. So I'm basically being patient right here. Right here, I get the call that one's Aqua and one's 90 side. So look at how I'm holding these angles and being ready to use that short mag of mine. So right here, I get the headshot of him because I'm aiming at chest and I get that recoil headshot. But right here i'm always having my crosshair on head level and ready to take that gunfight then obviously you know you have the smoke of the best kit in the game now i switch to the shotgun because smg 11 is good up close but this is where i would rather use a shotgun and i just clutch around but one thing you guys can take away from that little clip right there before i go into more details is minimizing how much of gunfights i can take you know capitalizing on that and when I can find 1v1s, 1v1s is the best thing you can do in a clutch situation to get that man count lower. With the SMG-11, you need to be quick and decisive, and that's how you become better with the gun. And once again, Malusi put a improper Banshee, just this, this one, it, by the time it goes off, they already have a good angle on me. That Banshee being on the staircase does nothing because by the time they're up there, they already have a fair gunfight on us. A little, little double explanation there, but at least you guys know now. So again, I'm just looking for the Flores drones um unfortunately we keep getting early picks but that's not really in my control um if we ever get early picked then that just means i need to get more aggressive but there's not really much that i can do yeah, can someone flank? we need to flank this uh, guy below so at this point of the round we are getting they're doing the same exact take pressuring study one guy backstabbing red and then this sled is working by himself below this, this ledge by himself below is kind of my objective that we need to take out because he's by himself and he's a free kill. So I hear their gone six, my barbed wire, they're working my study. I'm using my smoke grenades aggressively as you can see, see here. This way I can block off lines of sight and get more aggressive myself. So I actually catch this ledge, which is the kill that we needed below. I use my last smoke grenade. As you can just tell, I'm using my smoke grenades really quickly just because I'm exchanging the value that they're putting in. And that Finca just... No words, man. You got an LMG, bro. You got to win that. Uh, I got really good kills right there. I killed a Sledge and a Finca. If I died right there, we 100% lose the game. But I kept us in it by just keep the man count. And my team has did a decent job of uh, holding off another person off study. So we got a call. That guy's book is gone. All I really need to do here, I don't need to overpeak. I could. I was just kind of readjusting here just because I was trying to get my teammate right here. I didn't want to res him right now or else in case that finko i walked in or liana i want to get covered behind the bomb and then move to my right this way she has to take two separate gunfights in order to kill us i'm making sure i don't over peek because kade's also low hp and in this situation kade takes out the gunfight so that was a very 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 close round right there now the final question that you guys have all been waiting for what's inside the canister i'll be honest i don't have the answer for that but there's one thing that i can say i'd rather be a veteran smoke player rather than be a one trick player like finca alibi and twitch all of those guys have just dipped when the recoil went to shit i mean alibi is still fine right now but maybe she might be getting her recoil ticket to win the year 7 s4 speaking of season 4 be sure to stay updated on my channel because right as that information comes out I will be updating you guys that on this channel. Let me know what you guys think about the smoke in the comments below. I want to see the love from all smoke mains from year one all the way to year seven to combine it in the comments and show some love. Leave a like and subscribe for more content and check out these videos right next to me for more Siege gameplay.